One way to ensure you get the best measurements is to use a reasonable length stylus and sensor or probe when you're measuring your features. But sometimes we're stuck using longer probes than we would like. Uh, and one way around that particular problem is to insert an automatic probe calibration right inside your PCDMIS program just for using that long probe. Then when we're done with the long probe, we can remove that long probe and put the original probe back for the remaining measurements. Now once the probe calibration is done, we can start creating our part program. So once you have your program completed with the smaller stylus, what you want to do is embed some instructions inside of your part program to instruct the operator to swap over to the longer probe. So I've got the PCDMIS comment creation dialog up and I've simply put in here please replace the current probe with the probe long setup. And you can have your own name that's a little more descriptive for the longer probe that you're going to put on the end of your machine. So the next thing we're going to do in our program is recall the profile for our long uh, stylus and I've called it second probe so I'll just recall that and what we want to do now is insert calibrate auto calibrate probe so that inserts this command inside of our PCDMIS part program auto calibrate probe there are s uh, several switches here that we can play with that you may find useful one of them is this qual tool moved and the, the options are yes and no. If you wish to change it, just put your cursor over top the option and hit the F7 key to toggle it back between yes and no. Uh, I'm going to leave it on no because previously we located our calibration artifact using the shorter stylus. The other one that I've toggled on is uh, this switch right here, show summary. I've toggled that to yes and what that's going to do for me is include a summary of the results of my probe calibration right inside of my report so I can later review to make sure that the probe calibration came out correctly. Now the other thing that you want to keep in mind is this is an automatic command so once we swap the probe over and the software um, executes the auto probe calibration command it's going to try to go over to the calibration artifact to calibrate the probe so you may wish to program some auto moves away from the part before you swap the probe over and away from the calibration artifact after this auto calibrate command so that the probe can uh, program can continue measuring your part So once we have our probe calibration complete, we can continue our part program using the longer probe to get into the areas that uh, require that probe.